Hello once again and welcome back. So yeah, we are off with the second game in the Ace Attorney series that is Ace Attorney Justice for All. Um, let me tell you something about it before we start off. Um, this is not one of my favorite games like overall, but it has some of my favorite cases. That's saying something considering what we had in the previous case, okay? For starters, it's first case while um, being a, despite being a tutorial case where you know who's the murderer, it's still brilliantly done, uh, especially I enjoyed um, the cross-examinations for this one in particular, the introduc introduction case. Another thing is the characters whom we are introduced to in this game are some of my favorites and that's not putting it lightly they are, they are my favorites and yeah because if you look at the previous game there were some brilliant characters but i had a lot of amazing villains from that side here we have quite a lot of interesting mix um then uh the final case of this game is one of the most iconic ones and I am uh, undermining it with that statement actually. Undermining? No, I'm understating it. Anyway, so uh, it's like it's the case which makes everyone who has played this game go in awe. It's kind of like that. I just hope that I'm not going to make you have extremely high expectations. But then again, this case was that good. Anyway, so yeah, uh, let's start off with the first case. Um, I actually doubt I'll be speaking much for the first case except for laughing. And yeah, I mean, I don't have to go into much detail about it since you know it's the first case, and it's the on, the, sec, uh, the only other tutorial case you'll ever have because from. The third game onwards, despite it being the tutorial case, they don't bother that much with teaching you the basics because they expect you to know it by now. Because who's going to start with the third game without the first two? Come on. So I'm just leaving it. I like the ringtone. Cat his mobile. Let me tell you something. And this ain't a spoiler. He keeps that phone with him even in the future, like like a good um, seven, eight, a good ten years have passed and he still has this phone. No, he's not changed it. Still make I I still like the tin though, so Thank you so much. 
wondering, oh, Phoenix looked without the jacket on and stuff. You got to look at him. I do not know if that's any better or not. But hey, at least you have proof that he doesn't wear a one-piece suit. I mean, it's obviously two pieces. It looks obvious, but anyways. Oh yeah, speaking of which, this is the first case, so it's obvious what's going to happen. And look at the circumstances under which they decide to guise it as a tutorial. It's, it's nice.
you're getting my time too. I, I don't think I have to say anything about that. Expose Park. Credit for another thing. I earlier might have said something wrong. I mean, saying it's not that impressive of a game overall, but the courtroom themes are certainly an improvement. 
That is one thing I have to admit, admit about the games. Like as you progress, the um the main cases, as the final cases and the first cases, just keep getting better and better. And at the same time, the courtroom themes, especially the pursuit themes and the objection themes, they get a whole lot better. I mean, there will be people who would rather claim otherwise, especially with regards to the objection in Apollo Justice. But no one can deny the pursuit of dual destinies as the game five is the most epic one of all. But that said, anyways, uh, but character themes wise and stuff like that, I didn't like it in this game as much as compared to Trials and Tribulations. The first game though has the most epic theme of all, the Steel Samurai theme. Nothing can beat that, okay? <laughs> I just mentioned it because I just heard this theme just now and I'm like, wait a minute. I remember liking this theme a whole lot. The reason I didn't mind the long cases, the long courtroom drama. Is moving on. mention about another thing in case that um the bird napping joke you didn't get i mean you didn't understand the bird napping joke it's because of the pronunciation of maggie's surname her name's maggie bird b-y-r-d is pronounced as bird apparently um I, I remember because in the beginning of the game i was playing it as like beard the beard for some reason i was thinking about it that way i don't even know why i just giving such a weird name and then the bird napping joke comes up and I'm just like, wait a minute, what's her name? Like if Maggie, Maggie, maybe there's something about uh, her surname. And I checked and went saying it's pronounced as bird. So yeah, I felt a bit silly at that point. Maybe you might have already realized her name is Maggie Bird. Still. 
just thought I'll just point that out. That's so sad. chosen otherwise we just come back around because you'll be like i'm clueless i do not know what's going on and we just get the glove <laughs>
Okay, so it must be a bit surprising that we have like a save state right in between the first um, trial. But don't worry, this is actually not a very long trial. In fact, it's fun. Uh, this, in fact, just smartly written and executed one according to me, considering it's the first trial, we think should be easy. It is easy and obvious. <laughs> We just needed Phoenix to explain things, so we had this pause here. And it's just like a pause for people to just breathe in between, I guess. ahead any further uh you remember where uh, maya was off to last time don't you where she was so yeah she's back with us now um how she came back when she came back and stuff like that will be explained uh, a bit later on i guess and what am i saying i guess i know it will be explained later on In this case next case i won't say anything you'll get to see it anyways but yeah they're gonna explain about it here's where the dates and the trial dates i mean the trial dates come into play you know <laughs> 
for the sequence and the timeline of things. Just that I just point it out now itself before you think about her. Maya's here. Okay, so we never know like when she came back. Okay, she's just here now because it's case one.
Uh, I like this a lot. I don't know why. So wrong, but still. <laughs> Cross examination. I don't know why. Question is, do I drag on and show the cross examination? In between, there are some fun lines like the previous, like the earlier ones about questioning intelligence and making references and stuff. But I don't think this set has anything interesting, so I'll just skip right ahead.
we have it. that pause i did not like the objection tune of the second game now i remember what was bugging me the most of all the courtroom songs the objection song is the one which i am not fond of because it doesn't sound as epic as the first game you know the first game with its beats and all was like so epic and and this one just falls a bit flat compared it's like a bit tame while this tune which is playing just now the pursuit tune was better and it was moving on i guess <laughs>
tell me something I don't know. Objection tune is what I like and the ringtone. For some reason, I'm picturing the way they write, the way they say Maggie is Maggie and Maggie, not spelling it out, which is weird.
ันWith everything, something had to happen. There we go.
shush, it's my favorite ringtone. Gotta listen to it. But the numbers were all deleted. <laughs>
I love how the breakdowns are considered just part of everything. <laughs> The end. Uh, not this tune. Boo.